My research investigates near poverty in Russian Federation and the People's Republic of China. I examine living conditions and policy obstacles of the near poor in these two emerging economies. My the most memorable study experience perhaps related to the whole academic environment here, which is I found very exciting and very different from what I used to back in Moscow. And of course, teaching experience. Uh, I have been able to teach since my very first year of study here. Being in academia supplies you with a variety of qualifications, not limited with the research skills, but also networking and built-in resilience. I'm very enthusiastic about both research and teaching and looking forward to build my career in academia. My research is related to the entrepreneurial role of local officials in implementing national policies in China. Previous studies focus on the part of senior officials in the central government, but I am more interested in how local officials promote the reform process. My supervisor, Dr. Jing Weihe, Alex, inspired me a lot in my research. He is a distinguished scholar specializing in public policy analysis, health policy, and social policy reforms. Working with him helped me to improve my critical thinking skills and greatly motivated me to be a good scholar in the future. Moreover, PhD journey at APS allowed me to meet interesting friends and cultures from different countries, which broadened my international horizons. I really enjoy it. The Department of Asian and Policy Studies provides a unique vantage point for the student to learn and explore the rise of Asia I'm doing PhD research on Chinese subcore influence in South Asia. The aim of my study is to explore the direction of change associated with the rise of China and its subcore influence in South Asia. My ability to independent creative thought enhanced by the PhD study. After I complete my PhD, I want to continue my career in the research and teaching area. My research is about a comparative study of the youth-led democracy movements in Thailand and Myanmar to understand how the youths are empowered or disempowered through leading or joining these movements. It has been an incredible journey working on these projects, but indeed it is a challenging one as well. But my supervisor has always been there for me and her support has been tremendous and working with her has been nothing but an incredible experience. I got to learn with her about her work, and we talk about how we could work together beyond my own thesis project. I think this is a great opportunity for me to learn by doing as much as I can while working on my own thesis. I chose to pursue my PhD studies at APS because it offers a fulfilling program with their faculty members' expertise in my proposed research and its dynamic research environment. My research looks into the potential of a multicultural South Korea and the progress of multicultural policies uh, focusing on high and low skilled immigrants' integration into South Korean society. Uh, more specifically, what I want to explore is to what extent uh, immigrants have defined a multicultural South Korea and challenged the nationalist discourse. I think my PhD studies both gave me the formative skills and principles to conduct academic research, taught me self-discipline and importance of time management. I think the most memorable study experience I had here in APS is first of all the teaching experience that I get to be a teaching assistant for my supervisor and that helps to cultivate my love for teaching. Secondly, I had the opportunity to work on a WHO APO research project that focuses on health services for elderly. How I manage my work-life balance during my PhD journey is to have a close group of friends that they can support me and we can also unwind together. Like another thing I like to do is to just soak myself in things I like to do, for example, like baking, hiking, or just relaxing at home. Since I did my master's degree here, and I have found that our professors here are very nice and excellent. They really care about their students, 
and most of their publications are in the high journal ranking. So I think choosing here is a good opportunity for me to learn from them. My research interests are public management and comparative public policy in Asia. I am really interested in these kind of topics since undergraduate. Being a PhD student, I feel that most of my time will be dedicated to doing research. I would like to be a public policy researcher and providing the government with information for public policy making.